Not everyone will be familiar with the brand ChiefTech, even though it's been around for a very long time. It's therefore convenient that I'm testing an affordable AIO liquid cooler by that exact brand today. To be exact, the ChiefTech Iceberg 360. The aesthetics are certainly appealing, and same can be said about its cooling performance and price. Currently we are looking at around 80 to 90 euros, which translates to about 90 to 100 US dollars, but I was unable to find that model in the US. Apparently it's a brand mainly targeting Europe. Of course, the Iceberg 360 does come with a few weaknesses. After all, it's rare for a product to be truly flawless. So it'll be interesting to see how today's chief tech unit compares to its competition and what the noise levels are like. Also, what about the quality? Is it safe to buy such an AIO? There's a three year warranty on this unit. First of all, some praise for the environmentally friendly packaging, completely plastic free. We get the AIO unit itself, three 120 mm fans that are snapped on and interlocked with each other, which I find quite interesting. Then the mounting brackets, even some thermal paste, as well as lots of paper bags filled with all the required screws and whatnot. Last but not least, the instructions. As for the radiator, it's a standard aluminum radiator with a thickness of 27 mm. It appears to be pretty solid in terms of build quality. The fittings on it, as well as those on the pump unit, are even made of metal. Plus, I'm always keen to see a so-called infinity mirror design on the pump head. Visually, I find it very appealing. To ensure the illuminated Chief Tech logo is always the right way up, the pump head can be rotated. The pump is connected via a 4-pin PWM cable, and as far as lighting is concerned, we get two standard 5-volt 3-pin ARGB connectors, so that we can connect both the pump head and fans with each other, the latter of which are hooked up using only a single connector for PWM and lighting respectively. The idea behind it is pretty cool, but for people like me who simply don't mind cable clutter, completely standard separated fans would have been better. The fans provided by Chief Tech sport a fan speed range of 500 to 2200 RPM. The pump, on the other hand, operates at a flexible 1800 to 2700 RPM. And don't worry, the pump's noise level is actually quite reasonable, and I personally consider it close to inaudible, even at max speed. The tubing is nicely sleeved, as with many manufacturers out there these days and the length is 400 mm. Aesthetically, I have absolutely nothing to complain about with the Iceberg 360. It does look pretty elegant and well made given its price point. It offers a large copper base, even though it's not nickel plated. Regarding overall socket compatibility, the most relevant CPU sockets are on the support list, including AM5, AM4, as well as LJ1851 and 1700. The installation onto my two test systems, Intel and AMD based, went flawlessly. No issues at all. First, I performed a quick test using the AMD Ryzen 7 3800X CPU. This was followed by more detailed testing with the toasty Intel Core i9 13900K running at its 253 watt power limit. The tests were performed with the test systems displayed on screen now. Noise levels. Here today's Iceberg 360 turns out to be one of the louder models in the chart, actually exactly just as noisy as Be Quiet's Silent Loop 3 while also pushing through a decent amount of air through the radiator. These are of course values at max fan speeds, normally you'd adjust those individually. Temperatures at max fan speed with the AMD 3800X. In this test, this ChiefTech AIO essentially performs exactly as well as its competitors, but this is partly due to the fact that the 3800X CPU no longer goes to show significant gaps and differences between all those cooling solutions. Still a pretty good result. Temperatures at max fan speed with the Intel 13900K. As always, we kick things off with the Prime 95 stress test. The ChiefTech Iceberg 360 landing somewhere in the top slots up there. 
To be honest, that result came a bit unexpected to me. Strictly speaking, it is on par with the Deepcool LT720 and Be Quiet Silent Loop 3 and even beats the Light Loop by an average of 1 degree Celsius. However, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 does remain in the lead in first place. We then report a slight drop in cooling performance in the Cinebench 2024 run that followed. Under that particular AVX load, the Silent Loop 3 performs 2 degrees better, but the Iceberg 360 still delivers an impressive result and easily keeps up with the Light Loop and the like. In this test, even the Liquid Freezer 3 doesn't even perform as well as one would expect. Temperatures at a fixed 40 decibels. Now things get interesting, since all cooling solutions must now operate at exactly 40 decibels. So they get to show their true capabilities at actually pleasant noise levels. This is where the weakness of the Iceberg 360 becomes apparent. The fans do certainly perform well at high speeds, but do lead to a noticeable drop in performance once we lower the fan speed to achieve more pleasant noise levels. In the Prime 95 test, the Be Quiet, Light Loop and Silent Loop 3 units are clearly in the lead, followed one after the other by the NRMAX Lickmax Flow and Liquid Freezer 3. The Iceberg 360 does fall back behind here a bit, yet it's still ahead of the Trax Panorama SE. Now if you run through Cinebench 2024, the Iceberg 360 and Panorama SE are suddenly at the very same level. Although the previously mentioned top performers, the Silent Loop 3 and Light Loop now also start showing weaknesses here. Nonetheless, the cooling performance of today's Iceberg 360 is by no means poor, lagging only 1 to 3 degrees behind the more powerful models in this test. Conclusion The Chief Tech Iceberg 360 generally does convince. While the AIO liquid cooler admittedly doesn't stand out that much from the crowd, it does what it's supposed to do. The aesthetics and pricing are decent, and the quality also does seem respectable. The only downside to the unit would probably be the fans. These are definitely the weakest link in the chain. At max speed, they deliver great performance. However, at a maximum speed of 2200 RPM, they are way too noisy for everyday use. If you lower the speed, you quickly notice a drastic performance hit. Many competing models do a better job in that aspect, but I wouldn't complain too much about it, as the impact fortunately isn't exactly huge in practice. Additionally, we shouldn't forget the reasonable and fairly attractive price point of 80 to 90 euros, albeit even within that particular price range, there's already some tough competition going on. Frankly speaking, even though there's tons of choices as far as AIO liquid coolers are concerned these days, the Chief Tech Iceberg 360 definitely is worth recommending. So what are your thoughts on the Chief Tech unit I've taken a look at? Does it appeal to you or does it maybe not stand out enough from the vast sea of AIOs? If you enjoyed the video, I'd greatly appreciate you leaving me a like, but alternatively, you could also hit that dislike button of course. With that said, thank you so much for watching and until the next one.